Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another 22 men in a ball video. Today's an interesting one because we go into the West Brom match and it's against Huddersfield. It is Friday night. As you've seen on the channel, my highest viewed video, I was in the Huddersfield end and it's going to be a painful one to say because I'm in the West Brom end. So technically I've kind of got to be on the West Brom side, if you know what I mean. However... It's not going to be easy for me because Huddersfield, they're a great fan base, a uh, very good fan base when I was with them. And, you know, they're welcoming and everything. And I do enjoy watching them play. And I do think it will be a struggle for West Brom today. I don't think it will be easy. But I'm going to put it out there now. If this one finishes 0 0, you have to subscribe. Okay, you just have to because it's going to be outrageous because I think it's going to be 0 0. And I really hope it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping like a 2 2 or something so an either team win because I don't want either team to necessarily lose because then I won't. One, I won't get any content for West Brom because they'll all just be booing the team again. Um, it's very hostile at the Hawthorns. If you remember last time, it wasn't great. It was an experience I don't want to experience again. Um, the team just weren't playing for the fans, they weren't playing for each other, they weren't even playing for themselves and the manager, it seemed. It just was dire. It was awful. Uh, and the West Brom fans had like, every right to boo. And I said that in the video. I said they had every right to boo. And they did. But hopefully today, no booing. Let's, 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 let's just pray for that. No booing. Let's hope for a positive atmosphere. Let's hope for a positive game. As I said, I'm predicting nil nil. I really hope it's not. I think it'll be a close game. And let's see what happens. Let's go for a few drinks at Sportsman beforehand. And let's go. Down to the Hawthorns, shall we? I swear, every time I go to a West Brom game, it's raining. I swear, legit, it has to it has to be some curse on me or something. Doesn't feel very positive vibes. Probably doesn't feel a lot of baggy signs of positive vibes either. And also, I had my voice lost <laughs> from the Vela game. It was completely gone until literally yesterday. So, yeah, if my voice breaks, that's why. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was ill of some sort. Yeah. So we're at the, the Hawthorns and again we have Bradley. He got it right last time. When he came right today, what is your prediction? 1-0 to Albion. The Huddersfield. 1-0 to Huddersfield is prediction. I said 0-0. I don't see a lot of goals, but we'll take a 7 7. Oh, I miss them. I miss them. My boys. My boys. Rudy 
Radio Cooper, Radio Lana, all we hear is Radio Kaka. Wow. That is awful. It went a penalty, that's one of the box. Whoa, penalty. He can't miss. Surely he can't miss. Knowing they're looking at me though, probably will. Let's have a look. Come on, Grant. He's yeah. going, he's going, get the fucking ball. Let's go back, let's go back. Diangor on her on as well. Oh, it's gonna get a tasty ending. You have to get a fucking tasty, baby.
better. Well, what an ending to that game. That was ridiculous. Um, I didn't even show you. I didn't even get to capture the, the last few like attempts by Huddersfield. But Huddersfield nearly nicked at the end. Obviously, Grant hit the bar as well. It was a crazy end to that game. To what was a very weird game. Because first half, it was really slow. Um, the Huddersfield goal was just poor by Johnston. It was a really bad error. And West Brom fans rightfully booed at half-time. Half it wasn't good. It really wasn't good again in the first half. Second half, it started off even worse. Uh, I will say, first 20 minutes, West Brom did all right. They did okay. They actually showed some desire, which is kind of just what... Like, even if they played badly, if they showed heart and showed hunger and passion, I don't think the West Brom fans can say a lot because that's what they're asking for. Um, but... And they did show that the first 20 minutes. Then they kind of capitulated a little bit. And Huddersfield increased the pressure. Huddersfield played some really good football. Really good football. That Johnston error was really poor. And i said for a while, I don't think it's England standard anymore. I think you've got to look at Ramsdale, Pope and probably Pickford as well. As the keeper should take to the World Cup as it stands. West Brom didn't deserve anything from that game. They had a... A spell from the 82nd minute to the 90th minute where they looked like they were the best team in the league um, but for the entire rest of the game you'd have to say Huddersfield deserved it in that first 20 minutes West Brom didn't really create anything Huddersfield that if you look at the, their team just on paper it shouldn't be anywhere near where they are but they play quite well together O'Brien's brilliant as well he was also part of that link up that I was talking about earlier he's a really good player as well I quite like watching him play but it was a tough one for me to watch as Huddersfield. I do like them. I have a little little thing with Huddersfield now after that. They have got my first few video on the channel. Uh, and they were great supporters to be around for that day in small heath. So, uh, I mean, I hope they do well. Uh, West Brom, is it a bit of a bounce back? I don't know. Hull aren't a good team. So it's kind of difficult to judge on that game. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult one. Isn't it? But as long as the West Brom players show fight and passion, they'll get somewhere. Um, because they have the, they have a decent quality in the team. Uh, Diangana came on. It was a good substitution by Bruce. It added a little bit of spark, a little bit of energy. Uh, you know, Diangana didn't really do a lot like, uh, create chance creation-wise. He just progressed the ball a bit more. And then Carroll coming on also improved it. So I thought Bruce's substitutions today were quite good, and you have to give him that. I just don't know if his system going forward is what West Brom need. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll, he'll, he'll get the, seat, the rest of the season. Uh, get the transfer window behind him. Whether West Brom do any business, they don't normally, but we'll see. But yeah, good a good draw in the end for West Brom. Undeserved, but a good draw nonetheless. Uh, and the Hawthorns actually made some noise, and it is good when they make noise. And but yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and if you haven't subscribed already, if you're coming back and watching it, because around ninety seven percent of you are not subscribed, and that is that is mental. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like if you have enjoyed, as it really does help the channel out, it boosts uh, the interactions and comment as well and tell me who you support as well. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, have a good time. Bye-bye. Shut up and sit down.